Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Gaurav. I'm a product manager at OCI, Oracle Cloud Infrastructure. And we will be talking about creating baseline Terraform files in, in minutes. So before we do that, um, let's just kind of give some quick background about uh, what, uh, what kind of Terraform support we have right here. So because we'll be referring to some of these resources uh, in my presentation and the demo. So uh, we invested uh, heavily in, Terra, uh, in Terraform and we provide 100% resource support, uh, support from OCI, which means every new feature and every new service uh, that will be supported by Terraform. Uh, I'm not sure, don't sue me, but I think there is no other cloud provider that has that kind of support. And this is a day one support. As soon as these are re released, we'll support it. On top of that, you know, we created a resource manager, which is our Terraform managed service. And uh, as you can imagine, this uh, is supported by CLI, SDK, and console. And the benefits of this service is uh, uh, multifold. One is state management. We take care of the state so that you don't have to. Uh, similarly, we avoid any kind of parallel execution by locking the state. Uh, it has obviously the native inter integration with OCI services such as um, uh, tagging, identity, so on and so forth. We also have integration with source code control systems such as GitLab and a few more coming up pretty soon. And then we support drift detection kind of feature. So let's dive deep into it. So first thing is, you know, when uh, we are looking at the, the experience and see the customer flow, uh, we realize that, you know, when somebody wanted to create a stack, so stack is a, nothing but kind of a, uh, a combination of all your Terraform configuration file, variable file, so on and so forth. So they came to the console and then they saw this button, they wanted to create a stack. But then when they saw that, you know, uh, there is only one option, which is to upload their own files, they could not do so. Uh, so uh, what uh, only 29% of them could successfully create um, a stack. So which told us something, and that's why we created multiple tools to uh, solve that problem. So in this uh, uh, talk, I'm gonna focus more on like these two tools, OKIT and resource discovery, and I'll be doing demo around it. And we'll briefly touch upon the other options as well. So let's get right, uh, right into it. So first tool is OKIT, you know, Oracle uh, Designer Toolkit. And uh, it's a browser-based designer uh, where you can dra drag and drop icons and create the infrastructure. Uh, it's an open source tool. You can find it, uh, contribute to it, so on and so forth. And uh, let's do uh, a quick demo on this one. I hope you guys can see my screen. All right, so this is the OK tool. On the left-hand side, you have all the icons. This is the chart. And then right-hand side, we have a few options which we'll be looking at pretty soon. So let's create a sample, uh, sample infrastructure. I'm gonna start with, let's drop a VCN here. Subnet. I'm gonna need a route table. I'm gonna need a security list. Uh, what else do I want? Internet gateway, let's expose this infrastructure to internet, put an internet gateway out there. And last but not the least, let's uh, drop a compute. Uh, so now we have kind of created a, a bare bone infrastructure. Now what this tool does is, you know, you can look at this and you can make changes to it. Uh, you can look at the properties, you know, you, uh, I can change the shape, I can change the count, the OS version, boot volume, so on and so forth. I can do, I can even do cloud in it, so on and so forth. So that's that. And it, this uh, thing is uh, applicable for all the other resources as well. Now looks like yeah, I'm all set. I, I just want to download this uh, infrastructure. Now uh, let's, before we do that, let's validate it. So validate it is another feature which basically looks at your um, infrastructure and sees if everything is looking okay. And looks like, you no, know, things are not that great. Um, I'm gonna start with the public key. Oh, I did not provide a public key. So let's give a public key first. Let's go back and what are the other things? Route table does not have a rule. So I'm gonna give a rule here. I'm gonna 
set a target as internet gateway and then network uh, that's the only internet gateway i have go back and set security list uh, e egress and ingress rules for the in the interest of time i'm just gonna keep the default options subnet uh, so right now these guys are right here and uh, once we provide this information hopefully this kind of attaches itself to the subnet so i'm going to choose the okit rt001 that's the one i have right there and the sec list is uh, sl001 so you see all everything seems uh, good now we are all set to export it now let's go back to this hamburger menu and see there are a variety of options here you could um, you could export this as an image in case if you want to uh, put it in the, your presentation and stuff like that you could export this as ansible ansible is another very pow uh, very powerful and very popular tool out there so you could uh, create the ansible configuration file as well then you can create a stack of this and uh, push it directly to the resource manager service that we talked about earlier you can also put this um, uh, in the Git, GitLab repository and call it from the source manager. So for now, I'm just going to you know, download this. Uh, hang on a sec. I'm just going to download this as a Terraform file. And let's open it. What do we have here? All right, so looks like this has captured all the information that we had on our chart. So that's what we have. I hope you guys can see. So we have this uh, security list that we had dragged. There is a route table. So all that information is neatly captured without you having to write a single line of code. So that's, uh, that's that. Now coming back to uh, the tool, there are a couple of other options as well. So uh, nice thing is you can even do a cost estimate of your infrastructure. Um, another thing you can do here is you have uh, some sample architecture, which you can look at and learn the best practices. Huh, it's acting funny right now. Okay. Yeah. So. All this sample architecture you can play with and just download the configuration file and then use it as you like. So that's about the OKIT tool. Uh, moving on, for the the second tool, uh, I actually download and I recorded a video because uh, the job runs uh, for a couple of minutes, so I did not take that time. It's a lightning talk. So let's look at this. Uh, what it is? Let me give you a quick background about that. Just called resource discovery. Resource discovery is a tool that uh, goes into your compartment. Compartment is a logical separation of your resources. And uh, you take a snapshot of it. And as an output, you get Terraform configuration file and the state file. So how is that helpful? Uh, so one is if you, you're getting that state file, right? Now, imagine the scenario in which uh, you know, you have a POC going on um, and then you created that infrastructure. Now you, you want to move forward and then you know bring it everything under control of uh, the Terraform. Uh, what do you do? You kind of start from scratch, uh, not a good idea. So then this tool helps you with that. It actually captures everything and create a state file for that. Uh, similarly, um, another feature is like Terraform configuration file. So again, you're getting started with Terraform how do you go about learning this new uh, new syntax? So again, it will give you that baseline file uh, without you having to do anything. So let's go uh, go back and uh, look at the the demo. So here, I in my compartment, I have a compute instance uh, which is not uh, known to uh, Terraform yet. So I'm gonna go to my um, the resource manager page, I'm going to choose the uh, my compartment and I can uh, I can select uh, services which I want to export or I can choose all. So choose every every other every service and then export it. 
I'm going to choose all for now and just create a stack out of it. Now this is going to run uh, for a couple of minutes and the job is complete. Now I am downloading that uh, configuration file here and uh, let's have a look at the configuration file, what it entails. So it's tracking, extracting it, the, it creates multiple files. The, the relevant one is the compute one, the core one. And as you can see all those resources, which you saw, the, uh, they, are, they are nicely captured here. The VCN, the, the compute, the, uh, the network associated with that compute, so on and so forth. Now, uh, assume that you know you had a look at this, in, uh, this infrastructure. Now you want to move further and make changes to it. What, would, what do you do? So you just make some changes. I'm going to make a really complex change here. I'm going to change the name of uh, display name of this compute. I'm going to zip it up so that you know it's ready to be uploaded to resource manager. I'm going to go back to the same stack and upload this as a new file. And again, just follow that on procedure. If I want to create in a new compartment, I could do so by providing that variables. And uh, I'm going to run an apply job. So the job is complete. As you can imagine, the one change has been made. And if you look at the associated resources, the name has been changed here. Uh, you can also download the Terraform uh, state file and along with the Terraform configuration file. So that's about the, the uh, resource discovery feature. Now, as I uh, promised, I'm just quickly walk you through a couple of other features so one, uh, it's called like sample templates that we provide. And I'm gonna give you a quick overview of what uh, uh, we have here. So within the resource manager experience, we, uh, we are providing all these sample templates, again, so that you, know, you can learn the best practices as suggested by our experts, uh, and also kind of get started with the, the Terraform uh, configuration syntax. So that's uh, that. Uh, similarly, we also have uh, marketplace where we provide a lot of third-party applications. You can create uh, you can create the infrastructure for those applications and install applications on top of that infrastructure by going to the marketplace. Last but not the least, another feature is kind of going uh, back to the concept of like, hey, we a lot of people kind of come to the console, they create their resources. Uh, using the console. So for example, if I'm creating a computer uh, instance, I'm just gonna come here, provide all my details, ADD, uh, availability domain, choose image, everything. You know, I can decide my VCN, what is VCN I want to choose. And then uh, do I want to create a new VCN? I could do so as well. Uh, SSH key configuring put one. Now, instead of creating a compute here, what I'm gonna do is just create it as a stack. Uh, what it does is essentially captures all that information that you provided there, and then it creates a stack out of, out of it. So that now you have, again, the, you have this baseline Terraform configuration file for you. So uh, you can re reuse it uh, in, in your own context. And this is just for compute, we are gonna expand that uh, feature to other services as well. So that's about uh, kind of the tools we, we wanted to share with you. There are several of these. So again, um, we, uh, we welcome your feedback. We definitely want to uh, hear from you. If there's any suggestions you have, do let us know. We have a, a pretty generous free tier. So uh, sign up and let us know what you think. Thank you so much for your time.